This week on Machinery Pete TV, harvest equipment is featured on this second episode from Thief River Falls, including this 1993 John Deere 9600 Combine. True North Equipment prepares its customers for tomorrow's challenges, and Pete shares some tips for making the most of MachineryPete.com. Your machinery is a serious investment, and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV coming at you this week from Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Now, is fall harvest your favorite time of the year on the farm? Well, if so, you're in for a treat. You're gonna like today's show because we got all harvest equipment. We're gonna watch a grain trailer, a grain cart, a combine, a couple flex heads, and an auger cell. Now, before all that fun, we need to go back to the studio and catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Given the headwinds of COVID-19, tractor and combine sales are sputtering. The latest Association of Equipment Manufacturers report showing year-to-date the only category in the black are smaller tractors under 40 horsepower. Four-wheel drive farm tractor sales are down more than 7%, while self-propelled combine sales are down 10% year-over-year. Now, despite the challenges of COVID-19, April was a decent month. Total farm tractor sales in April were 12% higher. Combine sales were 4% higher. The USDA is announcing a final rule that will update and modernize the department's biotechnology regulations under the Plant Protection Act. It's the first update in 30 years. It's called the Sustainable, Ecological, Consistent, Uniform, Responsible, Efficient Rule, or SECURE. The final rule streamlines a regulatory process biotech developers must use to bring those products to market. USDA broadly regulates organisms created through genetic engineering. However, certain categories of genetically engineered organisms will now no longer require regulatory review. The new categories include new plants with crop trait combinations already reviewed and approved by USDA and plants with traits developed through genetic engineering that could have been achieved through conventional breeding processes. Most aspects of the rule go into effect in 90 days. That's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to Machinery P. Hey folks, stay tuned. Our harvest show continues coming up. We're going to watch this 1993 John Deere 9600 combine with 4,780 engine hours. So. This season, while work for you may have changed, our season is underway. American agriculture farms on for our family and yours. Hey folks, I'm here with Luke Kaushagen, one of the brothers retiring today. Luke and your brother Dan. Now Luke, you were a you were a busy young guy. You worked for 30 years for UPS while you were farming here. Why don't you tell yes, me about those days? Yes, I did. We just started up with one quarter of land. My grandfather homestead this quarter or bought it on a sale, I guess, in 1904, and, and uh, we started with this quarter, and we just uh, kept getting a little bigger, and it was just kind of like a hobby that got out of hand, I guess, and we just kept buying things and, and farming on the side and, and work after work and on the weekends, and yeah, we farmed for 40, I think 42 or 43 years, so okay. started in 76. So. And I suppose through the ups and downs of farming through the 80s, maybe, I mean, that off-the-farm uh, steady income, 
Well, we'd have never survived it if we didn't have the uh, right. off the farm income because you know it just was you know the income we got from the farm we bought better machinery and and uh, bought some land more land and right. kept expanding it and, and they say it takes a lifetime to build up a farm and that's what it is and then right. of course you get old and you got if you, unless you have the next generation to right. start in you're you got to quit I guess that's that's right. the situation we're in. Now, well, pretty cool, Luke, what you and Dan have done here to keep the farm going. It goes back to 1904 in the family. Yes, 1904, yeah. And was that your grandfather? Your grandfather. Yeah, he came up here from Twin Valley. They had a, a land sale. Luke, as you as the have the sale here, wrap up your farming career, you and your brother Dan, uh, fighting so hard, working off off the farm. And what what are your thoughts on sale day here? Well, it's, I guess it's kind of sad. It's kind of the end of an era. I guess we're the third generation of farm in this land after 115 years, and it's. Uh, but I'm 71, and he's pushing 70. So I mean, it's probably time to quit. Uh, you know, and uh, some people farm till they die, and I guess I, I don't want to do that. I guess I want to do a little traveling. And you're gonna hop in the RV with Loray and off yeah, you go. Yeah, we're going now. So. <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Grain car time. We got a 2000 JNM 750 here. And I looked in our machinerepeat.com website last night, the last 42 750s we've seen sold at auction, average price, 12,347 bucks. I've seen them as high as 22.5 and as low as $5,000. I'm six right here, bid sixty-five hundred on the motor. Bid you better bid sixty-five hundred dollar to you. Sixty-five, yes, new fire now seven. Hey, look at there now seven, 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 seven. Motor bid you better bid seven thousand, yes or no? Seven thousand, roll tarp and all seven. You bidding over there seven, give me seventy-five. I'm seven, seven now seventy-five now eight, 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 eight now eighty-five. I'm eight right here, bid you eighty-five hundred on the motor. Bid you better bid eighty-five, but it be nine now. I'm at eighty-five, but it be nine, nine, seven, seven, nine, seven, seven, nine now ninety-five. I'm nine right here, bid you ninety-five hundred on the motor. Bid you better bid. How about 95? Make it 97.50. I'll help you out a little. 97.50. Now 10,000. 10,000. 10,000. 10,000. Mona, bid you better bid. 10 now. 10, two and a half. 10, two and a half. We're down to the end, sir. Do you like the cart? 10, two and a half. 10, five. 10, five. 10, five. Your call, your dime, your bucket. 10, five. 10, five. Thank you. 10,750. I'm working for the family today. 10,750. Trying to point out the value. 10750 sold it. $10,500. Thank you for uh, the bidding. Well, John Deere made the 9600 model combine from 1989 to 1997. And folks, I looked last night in our website, machinerypeat.com. The average price on the last 117 9600 combine sold, 15355 bucks. And on today's sale, we got a 93 model, 4780 engine hours. Hey, look at there now, 20, 20, wanna be better bid 20,000. Hey, look at there now, how about 18, 18, 18, now 19. I'm 19, there now, 20, 20, 20, 20, now 21. I get 20 right here, bid 21. I'm 20, there now, 21, 21, now 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, now 2, 1, bid 22. 22, 22, 23. I got 22, 23. Bring, bring, 23. Real, real drive. 23, now 24. 24, 24. You know something? Before you say no, sir, would you bid 23, 5? 23, 5. Then you can at least say you bid one more time. 23, 5. 23, 5. 23, 5. It's your dime, it's your bucket. 23, 5. Rear wheel drive. Anybody else? 23, 5. You want to bid, you better bid. Last call. Sold it, 23,000, right here by our number. 72. Iron number 72. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. $6,000 in it and bono bid, you better bid. $6,000 where they're now have them. Time's up. Sold it, $5,900. $3,250, you bono bid, you better bid. $3,250 right here now have them. Bids with Brad. The bids with Brad right here. $32 and a half, $32 and a half. Sold it, three thousand dollars. Nineteen, nineteen. Mona bid you better bid. Nineteen, nineteen. You Mona bid you better bid. Nineteen times up. Yes or no? Nineteen thousand. Yes or no? Where they are now? Nineteen, nineteen. You Mona bid you better bid. Nineteen thousand. Sold the truck, eighteen thousand dollars. Eleven thousand dollars. What do you think, sir? Kind of figured you for a buyer. Eleven thousand dollars. Eleven thousand dollars. Anybody else? The old one I gotta be. Eleven, eleven. Mona bid you better bid. Eleven. Right here now. Have them times up. Sold it, 10,500. 
Your next piece of equipment is on MachineRepeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineRepeat.com. Hey folks, I'm here with Joe Breidenbach, Director of Sales with True North Equipment at your beautiful facility here in Grand Forks, North Dakota, Joe, and uh, let's talk about technology. Yes, oh, sir. The business is not just selling iron these days, and I know True North, you guys are really investing in the, you know, that this piece of the business, training your, your employees and also your customers. Why don't you just talk about the latest up here? Yeah, we definitely see that the, the future of ag technology, which should be no surprise to anyone, is really leading the way. Uh, we we want to see that our farmer partners, our grower partners, are the most profitable and long-term sustainable people in the business and in the industry uh, locally. And one of the things we've done is we've really focused on our precision ag business. Uh, we've got a very strong separate business, the Integrated Solutions team. We've got some great folks in that team. We continue to grow that team. And as part of that, we've invested in the True North Resource Center, which is behind us here. A big component of that is customer facing as well as employee facing training sessions. Yep. We try to hold uh, a lot of intimate uh, 10, 15 person groups of training all around technology that's uh, both housed on equipment as well as separate bolt on pieces. Mm -hmm. And we've seen, uh, we've seen great success in that uh, as a departure from what you might say is a typical clinic right, uh, right. from the past. An old school approach. Yeah. yeah, there you are. Right. And the facility here, just beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Joe, you guys you built this in like 13, six years ago? 2013, the building came up, yes, sir. And you guys were thinking at that time of the training aspect. So you were kind of, kind of almost, I would say, ahead of the game in terms of investing in that part of the business. We really like to think so. We saw that as an absolute key component. Uh, we laid a bet on that, and that bet has paid off for us. Uh, oh, cool. The facility has also really helped with uh, plans for growth and expansion. Hmm. Uh, to bring that whole team together in one facility has really made a cohesive uh, team. Hey, welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, you're heading my way to the land of 10,000 lakes, and we're gonna check out a very special farm all sea. Built in 1948, this tractor spent some time on the farm. Paul Felice and his brothers are here to share the family story of this working red. Now, this is a 1948 uh, C. Uh, this was our dad's, so we all grew up on this tractor pretty much, you know, and this was uh, basically the main workhorse for years on the farm. It had uh, mounted corn planter on it and the mower and rake tape with it, about anything that needed to be cultivator. So it uh, did a lot of work around here. This one's been all restored by a guy over by uh, Elgin, Minnesota. He's done, he did the mower and he's done a lot of my tractors already and does an excellent job on them. And priced a little higher than some, but I guess you get what you pay for, right? <laughs> That's original tires on it and everything yet, so I mean it's uh, it's pretty good for that day and age, you know. They're about 18 horse they are. You know, they ain't uh, real powerful, but for a little tractor, you know, they really uh, pull more than their weight. Had a two bottom plow for it, and I think the brother Bill, he was plowing with it when he was six, seven years old, he said, so. So that tells you how far back it was. <laughs> if that's the first tractor I planted corn with, with a four row planter when I got out of high school, dad said it was time for me to plant corn, so four-row planter in the sea, you thought you had a big outfit. Yeah, I'd say it's probably my favorite one. Well, just that it was Dad's, you know, and we managed to keep on to it. Oh, I think it's, uh, you know, after we're gone, you know, I'm hoping one of the my boys or somebody will uh, keep it around. Well, folks, stay tuned. The conclusion of our harvest special here in Thief River Falls, Minnesota, our feature item is a really sharp 2012 Wilson 41-foot grain trailer with under 2,000 miles on it.
Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Well, folks, the same auction firm on today's sale, the Steffes Group, had a sale back on March 5th of 19, a farm auction in East Central North Dakota. And on that sale, they had a pair of Wilson 41-foot grain trailers, really sharp. One was a 13, one was a 14, and they each went for 33.5. Now, our feature item on today's sale is a 12-model Wilson 41-foot, and this thing has under 2,000 miles on it. Hey, look at there now, Tim. Thank you, 15,000. I'm 10 right here, bid 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Yeah. Thank you, now 20. I'm 15, sir, now 20, 20. Where do you find them? 20,000 daughter, where? Hey, look at there now, 20, 20, 20, 20. Hey, do you bid them on a bid 20 right here? Oh. Let's go now. Do you want to bid 25? I'm 20, sir, now 25, 25, 25, 40 grand. Won't get you a new one. 25, it'll be 25,000. Hey, look at there now, 25, it'll be 25, 25, it'll be 25. What do you think? Help. 25, make it 7 pipe. I'm 25 right here, bidding 7 pipe, 7 pipe. Now, do you want to bid in 27 pipe? 27 pipe. How about 26? 26, less than 2,000 miles. $26,000. I'm telling you what, you're saving money. 26 now, 7. I'm 26 and 7, 7. I'm going to bid you better bid in 27. I'm a 26 right here. I got 26 on the net. 27, sir. It's like buying a brand new trailer. 27, 28. I'm a 27 right here, bid, 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 how about 28.5? I'll do some horse trading. 28.5. Got to see you say yes or no. 28.5. 28.5. 28.5 on a 30 to 33,000 dollar trailer. 28.5 would have been 29. I got 28.5 would have been 29. I got 28.5 would have been 29. 29 would have been 29. Internet got to bid you better bid than 29 would have been 29. Time's up. Sold it. 28,500 dollars right here. Congratulations, sir. Well, folks, three of the last four years, the highest auction price I've seen on a Wilson 41-foot grain trailer was 34,000 bucks, and the other year it was 33.5. Now, on our feature item on today's sale, the 2012 Wilson 41-foot with under 2,000 miles, we crept up close to that, comes in at 28,500 bucks. You looking for a piece of equipment? Well, I'll tell you what, folks, you need to check out our Machine Repeat Spring Price Slasher Sale event. This is running now through the end of the month, May 31st. Just go to machinerypeat.com slash sale. And when I looked this morning, we're pushing 400 pieces of equipment for sale. And what this is, we're working with our dealer partners all across the country. They need to move their excess used, and they're offering some deep discounts. And tell you what, we've got every kind of equipment on this sale. Tractors, combines, headers, planning equipment, tillage, uh, skid steers, telehandlers, anything you need is on this sale. Now, if we talk combines, well, I looked and we had 77 listed this morning. I know our friends at 21st Century Equipment out there in western Nebraska, eastern Colorado, they have three 2018 John Deere S780s on the sale, but they also have 17 S670s. You need to check those out, some great deals. Now, our friends at True North Equipment up in the Red River Valley, uh, northwest Minnesota, eastern North Dakota, they've got six sprayers on the sale, including four John Deere R4045s. And if we keep sliding on over to Wisconsin, the good folks at Swiderski Equipment, they've got 11 New Holland T8 series tractors on the sale, including six T8 410s. Again, some great deals here. Now, while, while we're on the topic of tractors, again, a great variety of age and location. Here's a 1997 Case H 8920, just over 7,000 hours. This is for sale in Pennsylvania. And then we have this 2012 Case H Magnum 290. 2,925 hours. This is for sale in South Carolina. And how about this 2014 John Deere 8285R from Kentucky? Only 782 hours. So again, folks, the sale runs through the end of the month. Go to machinerepeat.com slash sale to check it out. Well, thanks for joining us up here in Thief River Falls, Minnesota this week for Machine Repeat TV. An honor to be here to cover the Farm Retirement Auction for brothers Dan and Luke Kaushagen. And I had to smile when Luke told me, Pete, you know, this farming thing started out as a hobby, just kind of got out of hand a little bit. But I think we know the brothers, hey, they were just doing what they love. Now tune in to Machinery Pete TV next week. We'll have some more special stories to share. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. 
Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com.